Come on in. So excited to have you. How are you, Lance? I think every one of these people bought a picture from me. <laughs> and I thank you for that. <laughs> but I was running out of brain. You know? Put a quote in there. Do you try and make them all personal, do you? Is every signature a personal message? Yes. I love people. Look at your face. Just... Can you see yourselves? No. <laughs> um, is this, I guess, because you've been in so many incredible films, but is this side of your career quite new, coming to conventions, or has this always been a part of what you do? So I feel like conventions have become a really big thing over the last sort of 10, 15 years. It, everything about my career is almost an accident. You know, I mean, I didn't, I only went to three years of grammar school. I could hardly read. And then I, I started reading a little bit. It, it was boring. And I wanted to do things. And they finally gave me a shot. And then I've done like 200 movies now. Yeah, it's, it's a lot you don't seem to ever not be working. I, I don't, maybe I robbed them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. They'll find out in the end. The, the when big, uh, Hey, not, <laughs> not while I'm talking. You're being tapped. There we go. I'm yeah. kidding. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Anybody got any questions? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna open the floor to some Q and A. So if you do have yeah. questions, we will absolutely. Them, yeah. Because I'm not a writer. I'm uh, a, I'm a, I needed to say something before we go to the audience uh, because. Uh, one of my favorite shows to watch uh, growing up with my mum was Millennium. Millennium. Millennium like was a yeah. great show. Well, I know how to read now. Yeah. <laughs> After 60 uh, shows, and the, and the scripts were almost a full script, even though they cut like 40% of it out. Yeah. But that's a boring subject, isn't it? I mean, it's, let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people find anything boring though. You could tell you could no. tell us how you decorate your bathroom and people would be like, interesting. I yeah. know, I kept getting nominated for a Golden Globe and I didn't get it. I didn't give a shit. I have to say it. I don't want to get on the red carpet and stand there and beg them to like me. So I forget it. So Frank Black was one of the best characters I've ever had because it was so long. I mean, it was 60 shows, that's a lot. Yes, you I mean, That's three years, you know, every day, you know. And I thought, well, I, how much schooling did you have last? I mean, I said, three years. I didn't like it. <laughs> when, did you, when did you find acting and performing? First time, you mean? Yeah, what, what was the moment where you're like, I want to do this? Yeah, when I, when I got uh, Dog Day Afternoon, they right. gave me a, I killed them at the airport. You know, and, I, and that was my huge bird line. I knew how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hopefully not ever killed anyone in an No, I never, I didn't kill somebody to get in the mood. <laughs> Which is, a, which is a, a root in sometimes, I think. That is what you would say if you were trying to cover up for the fact that you had killed someone to get in the movie. Yeah, I, Al Pacino was a friend of mine because of we, I used to go to the studio. And so when they talked about that part, I said, oh yeah, I'll do that. I'm not afraid of that. So, <laughs> It's, I'm a New Yorker, so that means you're, you're either afraid of it or you're ready to fight. You know, like, that's what it was like. Um, over the years, like did you say, you've done 200 films. Are there any characters that you would love to revisit one day, or are you happy to put them all to bed? Uh, over the years, I've gotten older, so they're not asking me to play, you know, like Superman. It's, I'm in my zone, so I'm good. I like it. I love it. Um, but yeah, like, because obviously, like, a lot of franchises, 
are doing, like they're still like, churning out films like Star Wars and things, would you love to uh, go back to say something like Aliens or a another role that you've ever uh, done? I'd like to do uh, Westerns for the rest of my life. You are a perfect I I've Westerns. Done some. Yeah, you are the perfect what, Westerns. What do you think? I drink. Okay. <laughs> Um, is that your genre? Do you think? Do you like to watch westerns? No. Uh, yeah, I'm very good. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything you? Is that like, if you could say, do one type of thing for the rest of your life? If it was a genre, would western be your favourite? No, it would probably kill me. Yeah. It would. Probably, no. Uh, I I've done about ten of them, so they're very exciting. Yeah. It when I knew the. The lady that that got shot on, on the set, and she was the steady cam operator in a, in a lot of movies that I did. And really great person, and I knew her, and I, I was very sorry. I felt real sad about what happened. Oh, wow! So, yeah. So I'm not. No, no movies worth killing somebody. Absolutely no. Absolutely no. Um, yeah, you're going to get packed a lot on here. Just got to keep an eye on him, he'll, he'll find you. <laughs> gun. She's yeah. got a gun on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is your western right now. Yeah. You should pull out a camera quicker. Yeah. Do a quick draw camera. Um, we are going to open the floor in a second, so please have questions ready. Um, do you enjoy meeting fans still? Or are you, um, do you getting out? Do you enjoy coming in out and meeting fans? Is that... I don't, I don't call them fans, I call them friends. I mean, it's like, I have a good time with people. I don't, I don't uh, <laughs> no, you, you put me in a trap there, man. Yeah, do you hate these people, Lance? <laughs> no, I don't hate these people. <laughs> They'll beat the shit out of me. Look at how many there are. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a new story, though. Belgium goes feral. <laughs> It's okay. Don't. You didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that, that little boy heard me say shit, and I feel bad about that. Yeah, but look happy how happy he yeah. is. Man. <laughs> no, he said it again. Yay! <laughs> what are the words, you know, Lance? <laughs> um, guys, because we only have Lance for half an hour, if you do have questions, please get your hands up, and yeah. we will. Um, yeah. Thomas is going to come down yeah. the line now. So, the yeah. ones we pick have to tell us their private curse word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what we Well, you started with a kid, so this is going to be great. I know why. It's going to get mad at me. Do you, uh, do you think that there is life in the galaxy? Ooh, good question. Ooh. Do you think there's life in the galaxy? Other than, other than us, do you think there's... Out in space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're here. I mean, we're in space. So, yeah, absolutely, there's life. <laughs> And I, I'm not afraid of them. I, I don't get afraid of, of real animals or, or occupants. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. It's a smart question, dude. You put it all on me. <laughs> yeah, could you solve one of the humanity's yeah. oldest and uh, most assessed questions now, please? I, I don't know if everybody's the same as I am, but about this is sometimes I get carried away. I, I, I open up my computer and sit there for eight hours watching all these little things, you know, the little stories. Some are crap, some are boring, some are like, I go, ooh, that's freaking me out. You know, I mean, because I live alone, you know, I, you know, one of those guys. <laughs> Just live alone. Yeah. But there is life outside. Did I answer your question, really? Yeah. I even think that maybe the Egyptians were aliens with the pyramids. And, There's theories about that. And the desert. And there are a lot of people are talking about that. I mean, when they dig them up, they look like aliens, I'll tell you that. <laughs> they, they look like beef jerky aliens. He agreed. <laughs> There's a franchise, uh, Beef Jerky Aliens. I think I'd watch that. That's a new movie I want to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we got a question here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have to have a lot of water to resuscitate it. 
<laughs> All right, anyway. Good afternoon. Um, every true fan knows that uh, only two people were killed by Terminator, Predator, and Alien. It was Bill Batman. You. What was your relationship with them? I've killed a lot of people in movies, but I've also been killed a lot in movies. I mean, I, I find different ways to go down, you know. It's, it's, it's part of the fun of it. You know. Did you ever, well, yeah, because it was you, was it Bill Paxman and Predator, Terminator and Alien under your belt? belt. No, I know, we got, we got <laughs> we, we're known for being killed by everything that Jim Cameron <laughs> creates, you know, to get done in, <laughs> one way or another. And then we try to kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, was that your first question of James Cameron rings? Uh, what's killing me now? Is that how you answer the phone to him? You, you're a very clever guy, man. Do you have a question? I have many <laughs> questions, but uh, these guys have Come on, give, dips, me, yeah. give me some more. I really need your brains. Um, hello, and thank you for coming to Belgium. Uh, I was wondering if you're deciding to play a character or a role, what uh, what criteria do you look for? What, what does a script have to have for you to take a role? Money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell I can tell the strata I'm in when they offer me my first offer. And I go, oh really? Uh, I'm not sure about this. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're guilt tripping. Uh, I want my dog on the set with me. <laughs> no. That would be a great thing to say. I'm not doing it unless my dog is on set. What? I was just saying that would be great if you were to say that. I'm, I'm not doing a film unless my dog gets to be with uh, me. Are there any producers in this audience? <laughs> uh, learn if you want me in a movie. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Yeah, yeah. If the money's right, big turkey aliens with Lance's dog is going to happen. Although, yeah. speaking of uh, pets, uh, Matt and I are friends with uh, someone who grew up with the cat. Oh yeah, from, from Aliens, yeah. From aliens, Generally yeah. one of our friends, um, Jones in Aliens is their cat. Just a very... Yes, was, was their was cat. Was their cat, yeah. It's a very tenuous link. So, so we just talk about pets on the set. We you know, you know I, to be honest with you, man, I don't, I'm never jealous of somebody having a better role than I don't think the cat had a better role in it. That's true. There, there, I have got to have one friend in this audience that will verify that. <laughs> no? Okay. Forget about it. You're great in everything. Like, honestly, you're so charismatic on screen. I, I remember that, like, watching Aliens for the first time when I was really, like, young. And Bishop, Bishop just has stayed with me of all the characters. Like, it's just something, just, so enjoyable. I, 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 I do a lot of negotiating. Like I did a one of those. What the hell is it with a devil? You know, and it's, it's got a there's a big black bird involved and all that kind of. And it, and it was a, a thing. And I said, I'll do that. I'll do what you're asking me, but I want you to add this to it so I can feel like it's worth doing. Nice. And negotiate. You know, it's like. It's like we all do, you we know, vote on anything. We're, we're going into a, a terrible, uh, big crisis right now in the States. All of the writers have walked off, and now the directors are going, and then the producers of, of the, you know, independent nature, yeah. they're going. Because we got, it, we got it through the grapevine that what they're gonna try to do is have AI write scripts and AI is going to, you know, do the whole ball of wax and then our prices will go down. We won't even earn enough, you know, to make the dollar an hour minimum. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy though, isn't it, talking about, because AI is obviously such a big conversation in Hollywood. That idea, because there's been things where they've tried already where the algorithm just goes off marketing, but it seems to me that people react badly to that and what they always come back to is good stories and good characters. Well, you guys as a group, 
Would you rather have humans writing scripts and stories that are passionate about, or do you want an AI that, that it's like, uh, you know, doing a puppet show in the toilet, you know, that, that, that it decides to do? Because Pinocchio loves to do. <laughs> <laughs> You realize you're onto an idea then? If you I let that one go. Yeah. I don't want to give them any ideas. Right. What's beautiful about that, given you played one of the most famous artificial intelligences of yeah. the whole screen, Bishop? That was like Bishop's retirement years where he's become a writer. <laughs> Just pitching Pinocchio as a thing. I'd watch that. Oh man, I, I, maybe, maybe my year is over. You know, I'm, I'm not too proud to go home. <laughs> I'd make pottery. At home. I'd be happy. Oh, it does sound good. Too bad. <laughs> I'd love to just make pottery. Uh, we got a question down here. Yeah, hi. Uh, Millennium, again, also grown up, one of my favorite series. Um, what did you like better, acting in movies or acting in series, in TV series? Th that's hard to predict. You know what I mean? It really is. I love the character, but man, they, they ran me through the meat grinder. I mean, it was one one day I'm watching a guy uh, bury women, you know, and have his pigs eat them. And I'm supposed to, like, go, this is normal? What is it? Is this part of my job? I mean, I would have to wrestle with it, really, because you can exploit pain and misery and sorrow. Uh, to that degree without giving something back. And sometimes they will, and sometimes they wouldn't. And sometimes they do it for shock value. And I didn't want to be Bruce Lee of the, of, of the uh, you know, like a, the detective bureau. I, I didn't want that part of it. I said, I'm not that kind of guy. I don't, I'd rather use my brain than my fist or a gun. Gun's better. Fist, fist, no good. <laughs> There's too many big guys out there. There's a whole shitload of six footers here, man. Have you got one? Like I don't think they're after you, though, so don't worry. <laughs> We've got one more question over there. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You look okay, well, excited. You're gonna do a good one. We got the microphone there. We'll try and we'll try and very quickly quick fire it. Yeah. Uh, I have an alien's question for you. Um, I think the film still holds up very good today for classic, and you should be proud of it. But the knife trick, the knife oh, trick. Got nervous. Come on. Yeah. All right. So uh, I have an alien's question. The knife trick you did in Aliens that looks pretty real. Can you really do that? And how did you get Bill Paxton to go along with that? What's the story behind that? Well, Bill Paxton is such a wise guy, you know. I mean, when I came into England to go do that movie, I had Jim Cameron said, "You, when you were a kid, did you ever do the knife thing?" I said, "Yeah, a lot. I got the scars to show it." And I, I said, I'll, "I'll bring the knives. Don't worry about it. I'll bring them." So I had about 20 knives in the, in the top of my suitcase. And they saw it in the radar, or whatever they call that. That was security uh, x-ray. Yeah, right. And they, they said, they opened my suitcase and there were 20 different kind of killing machine knives. <laughs> and they said, would you step back from your suitcase? And you know, and they, then they, I thought, I'm going to jail, man. And he said, well, we can't let you into the country. And I thought, okay, that's, that throws a monkey wrench into why I got on that airplane. You know, so anyway, they kept me in a cell for a while. And then Gail Hurd, she's only five feet tall. And she came down and, and slapped him around and said, he's here to make a movie and you have knives. And I'll bet you there's a hundred knives in this room. You know, she 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 broke through. Amazing. I know. And then, then I got to do the movie. But at first it was very iffy. 
He said, what are you going to do with those knives? And I said, demonstrate with them. And they went, that's not a good sound. <laughs> I'll demonstrate these knives right now. Yeah. <laughs> you did kill in an airport. I what? You nearly did kill someone in an airport. I, I did that. I did that stuff. We did a lot of takes. Because I wanted to punish Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. If we can, yeah, we'll try and pop very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's down in the center. Thank you very much to be here. You gotta hold it. Yeah, you gotta get it right near me. Thank you very much to be here with us. Uh, in in your, your career, uh, you played a lot uh, of, uh, of roles. Uh, you played uh, good people, you played bad people. Uh, what kind of character uh, did you like uh, much? Sorry, I'm French. <laughs> prefer to be good or to be bad in your movies? Yeah, I, I, I personally don't like police. I think they're punishers. And, you know, I don't like to be punished. <laughs> so, thank you for that question. I, I uh, yeah, I get feisty back. Because I've read Shakespeare. You want to mess with me? I read Shakespeare. Give him a bite, but we don't need all of that. If we're not doing anything to hurt somebody else. Why does he have the right to hurt me? You know what I mean? I know I'm going to get arrested the minute I walk out of this building. Depends how many knives you've got on you. I know. Oh, you told the knife story, <laughs> my wise guy. Yeah. So do you prefer? Do you prefer, do you have a preference for good or bad when you're playing? I don't like to fly. I think every time I fly, I'm gonna die. You know, I'm just looking for something. Oh, not when you're playing, sorry, when you're playing characters, playing characters. So oh. when you're acting. Yes, back to Australian accent, like, yeah, Korean to play yeah, that. Yeah, sorry, it's my Aussie accent. We're surrounded by accents. You made me confess something that no man should confess. I'm sorry, we've heard it here first from a non-exclusive Lance Henderson does not like fly. Um, I don't think I'm going to die, I'm only kidding. I mean, I, I, I fly, I, I learned to fly because it bothered me. I mean, yeah, I know to fly. Amazing. Um, we have to shut down in a second, so we, we will get a question. Just to close out, if you had a preference of a good or bad, uh, like a, a villain or a hero, say two scripts came to you at the same time, would you prefer a villain or a hero? That's a good question, but only because right now in the world, you can't even recognize good or bad guy. You can. That's true. You know what I mean? You try to try to sail a course that kind of not like you're frightened to live, but it's like we we know how to disguise ourselves pretty quick, pretty good. <laughs> now you ask me about aliens, how can I tell which of us is an alien? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Imagine <laughs> that. Oh, you got me. Oh. Yeah. I know I'm made of maggots, but you, I hope that doesn't bother you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are unfortunately going to have to let Lance go back into Comic-Con. Uh, you're here for the rest of the day, so... Um, oh, yeah. Please do go see him, uh, please be his friend, uh, get things signed, uh, ask to see his knives, whatever you need. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, an absolute legend, his first time at Comic-Con Belgium, Lance <laughs> Hendricks